This rainy weather just makes me craving for some comfort food, like you know, some fried crispy pancake. <laughs> so that was I'm making today: Vietnamese crepe or bánh xèo. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to mix 400 gram or 14 ounce of rice flour with a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoon of turmeric powder, with half a liter of water. If you can buy bánh xèo flour package like this, it will be more convenient because the turmeric pack is already included inside. Stir really well to avoid any lump. Then add 250 ml of beer. Any kind of beer will do. Well, this is a little secret to make the uh, pancake more crispy. But if you can't take beer, you can replace it with the same amount of coconut milk or just simply water. Stir really well again. Then add the chopped onion and let the batter rest for about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, we will prepare the pot and the shrimps. You can either peel and deveine the shrimps or just simply trim up the tips and the legs like I do. Cut the pork belly into thin slices and season the pork and the shrimps with some salt and pepper. Mix well and set aside for about 15 minutes or so. To make the pancake, heat the pan on medium high heat and grease with some vegetable oil. Then add two shrimps and a few slices of pork and fry until the shrimp and pork change their color. Then ladle some batter and chill the pan in a circular motion to spread the batter evenly. Cover and cook for 1 minute. The pancake really look like an omelette but actually there's no egg inside. The yellow color comes from the turmeric powder. After 1 minute, you add in some bean sprouts and cover again and cook for another 1 minute. Then use a spatula to fold the pancake into half so that the two shrimps stay on opposite quarter. Cook for another one minute and then transfer it to a plate. Continue until you finish the batter. If you can't manage the time well, you can do two to three pancakes at the same time so it will be faster. The pancake tastes the best freshly out of the pan so it would be fun to make it with your friends and family and serve it while making at the same time. The pancakes are a little greasy because it's fried in a pan and therefore it's our favorite food during family gatherings on rainy season. You can serve bánh xèo with a lot of fresh vegetables and some light dipping fish sauce. To serve, you cut the pancake into halves and take a whole piece of lettuce or mustard leaf, some herbs, and then wrap the half of the pancake inside and dip in the savory dipping fish sauce. But sparrow, sparrow, won't you
The pancake is crispy. The vegetables are crunchy. It's just flavorful. In central Vietnam, bánh xèo is more and served with a special sauce made from fermented soybean and ground pork and peanut. It normally comes with a pork skewer called nem lui, and is wrapped in rice paper with fresh vegetables, shredded green papaya, green banana, star fruit, etc. The pancakes here are amazingly crispy. It's because they fry the pancake two times: the first time without the bean sprouts, and then the second time with the bean sprouts. Mmm, it's just one bite of heaven. So enjoy your Vietnamese pancake and thank you for watching.